Hi, and welcome back to Logarithm Security Spotlight. This series is designed to provide quick visibility and understanding into the ways you can leverage the Logarithm platform against a variety of threats. Today's Spotlight is a quick overview of a relatively new ransomware variant called Turkey Ransomware and its progenitor, the Ryuk.NET Ransomware Builder. Interestingly, whilst it's been named by its anonymous creator, the Ryuk.NET Ransomware Builder, the ransomware development tool has actually no relation to the existing Ryuk malware family. From what analysts can tell, it doesn't have any of the typical ransomware features you would expect, such as the ability to exfiltrate data, and indeed various analysts have used the builder and identified that it's more of a destructive tool than one useful for encryption. Currently, the general consensus is that if you were to use this code in its default settings, you'll generally look to be quite a naive threat actor, and indeed various EDR technologies will spot and block the behavior instantly. But here's the thing, if someone tweaked the code and compiled it slightly differently, those same tools might not be able to stop it anymore. The primary issue is that this exact tweaking happened, and the tool was used to develop a piece of malware called Turkey Ransomware, which is currently popping up in Turkey and Syria in the aftermath of the tragic earthquake that struck the region recently. It's a sobering reminder that adversaries are relentless when pursuing their target, and will act regardless of a target situation. It also continues to highlight the simplification of the path to becoming a legitimate threat actor today. Programs that assist in the building of custom malware, or indeed ransomware as a service programs, are becoming increasingly common, so it's important for organisations to understand the threat and how to mitigate it. This ransomware tool was built and released in June 2021, but the threat of ransomware has actually been around since 1989, when a ransomware attack targeted the healthcare industry. This first instance became known as the AIDS Trojan due to the creator being a PhD AIDS researcher named Joseph Pop. The Copilot team were particularly interested in the thought experiment of being able to track malicious code through changes in overall delivery. And this ransomware variant is an opportunity to do exactly that. Once again, the detection of these kinds of advanced threats rely heavily on the verbose nature of sysmon logging, something we would absolutely advise all scene practitioners to seriously consider. The alert rules created focus on two different approaches. The first is relatively simple and is designed to detect any executions via PowerShell, CMD or VSS admin deleting shadow copies. This is a relatively common principle used in effective ransomware variants and so should act as an early warning sign for potential outbreaks. Further to that, and specifically related to Turkey ransomware, the second rule focuses on the fact that the ransomware aims to encrypt specifically desktop shortcut files. By monitoring for this attempted encryption, we can again provide a potential early warning system for security teams. If you want more information about how to enable this rule within your logarithm deployment, the link in the description will take you to our community page where you can read more about the rule, download and then import it into your platform. Alternatively, please reach out to your aligned sales engineer or co-pilot and they'll be happy to assist you. Finally, we have also provided links to useful blogs and other videos that outline various things discussed in this video in more detail should you want to continue your reading. Thank you for taking the time to listen. Please check back next week, same time, for another of Logarithm's Security Spotlights.